Hey, it's Chris. Welcome back to Bit Unusual. Back in the day, I studied physics, nuclear science, and engineering, and I've seen some really cool, amazing things. But what I'm about to show you right now, I've never seen in person. Like, th this stuff that I'm about to throw down on you right now is really, really cool. My friend, who recently went back to school to study physics, sent me a photo of this cup and was intrigued exactly what was going on. So at first glance, to me anyway, it looks like a bifurcation pattern. A bifurcation is the splitting of a branch into two and then more into two and it just continues to go on like a domino effect. Usually bifurcation patterns are used in mathematics, which then translates into, into physics, where we take chaotic systems, use bifurcation, create fractals, really, really cool stuff to make it deterministic. But that's not the answer here. Like, yeah, it looks like bifurcation, but that rabbit hole does not at all help us figure out what's exactly going on in this photo. Those dust-like particles is Alkanox. Alkanox is this industrial grade powder that when mixed with water becomes kind of like a soap that's used to clean off durable and sometimes less durable complex machinery. One experiment she's working on, she has to clean these sensors, which she uses the soap to do it. So after transferring some of the Alkanox from this one cup into a cup that has water in it that she uses later on to wash her sensors, she realizes that you have this pattern. Now you might think, okay, maybe that's just dirt, right? Like maybe the cup was dirty, the Alkanox, the dust collected on top of that, and therefore you create this pattern. But here's why I don't think that's what it is. One, this is a high class laboratory. Like they don't play around when it comes to these things. Things are sterilized. Any materials that they use have to be clean, right? For, for science, for data purposes. We don't want any type of outliers that will screw up the data. That's one. Two, this isn't snowflake nucleation where dust-like particles collect onto some type of impurity which then becomes a snowflake. Like it's similar, but it's not. Here's why. She tells me that she gets shocked. Not like shock shock, but electrically shocked. So what that tells me is that every time she goes into the lab, the lab itself, I guess the air, I don't know, it can be many things, is collecting charges. Now that's the key. This is a Lynchenberg figure. These lines are the pathways of high voltage electrical discharge on the surface of insulating material. Usually these majestic arc pieces are created by discharging energetic electrons into a dielectric material, such as glass, wood, and plastic, which impede or immobilize electrons. So now electrons here, the immobilizing electrons are key, right? Here's why. That cup is a dielectric material. It's a material that immobilizes, traps electrons. It doesn't want electrons to move. So what that tells me is, is that in the air, you have this collection, this soup of charges that are now collecting on pockets, pockets of the cup, on the cup, inside the cup. And when she pours, my friend, she pours the Alkanox, the dust inside, she pours it out, those dust-like particles are now being attracted to the electrons, they're getting attracted to those charges. That's beautiful. This German physicist, his name is George Christoph Lynchenberg. He discovered this exact phenomenon very similarly. What he did was he went in his lab, he was doing some type of electrical experiment where he had charged plates of resin and there's dust particles all over the place and they collect on the resin, on those charged plates. And to his surprise, right, he wasn't looking for this, he wasn't trying to do this at all, but he sees these patterns, these branches which coined Lynchenberg figures. Now, it's beautiful discoveries like that that get me so excited because it's out of the things that are unknown, out of the things that are unexpected, that beauty lie. If you've gotten this far, thank you so much for watching. Just for you, in the description box, there's a link to the experiment that my friend is working on. It's called Mu2E, you on to electron conversion experiment. And it's a collaboration between Fermi Labs and United States Department of Energy. And what they're doing is they're looking at how heavy particles like a muon decays into lighter particles like an electron. Now, we know these things happen, but we don't know why, right? Like that's the beauty about science too, specifically physics, because you might think physics in itself is a science that we've explored so much that there's nothing to discover anymore, but there's so much new science in physics now that I'm, I'm giddy because it's, it's beautiful things. But anyway, 
the men and women that work on this project are amazing and I'm so happy to know someone who's working on it. So you know who you are, kudos to you, you're amazing. If you enjoy this vlog, please like and subscribe. I can't even tell you enough how much stuff you're gonna be doing. All right, um, below in the comment section, just give us your feedback, tell us what you like to see. If you like this video, if you don't, give us you know your ideas of what you wanna see. Twitter, Instagram, follow us if you want to kind of have a sneak peek of what's going on, what we have planned up, and shoot us a tweet if you have any suggestions. Thank you again for watching and take care.